Hey guys, welcome to Project Cars with John. Uh, having to talk kind of quiet into the microphone here. Kids sleep in the next room. That's just how it goes though. Um, I hope the sound settings work. I've had a lot of troubles with sound on this game. When I turn the sound effects down in the game to a point where you can hear me over the engines of the cars, then... Um, the sound cuts out and doesn't work right, so we'll we'll see how this goes for me. Yep, driving that. Um, no traction control. I do have any lock brakes on, and I do have it set on automatic. Um, what I found is my eight-month-old son um, in the next room can hear the. Uh, I have a Fanatic Club Sport wheel here, and the shifters, um, it wakes them up, the clacking of them, so. I typically drive manual. The only thing I ever use is, is any lock brakes, just because I have such a hard time setting them up for all the different cars I drive, um, when I do play these games. And that's mainly because I, I don't get to play that much. You know, I, I set it up and get it all right for one car to where I, the little vibration thing on the pedal starts working when the wheels are locking up and I go drive a different car and it's different, so... So I typically don't do that. Ooh, this isn't going to be a, cra a crazy fast lap. Never driven this car in this game. This is more about just uh, the fun of driving a McLaren around the Nurburgring. And trying not to wreck the thing. I probably will wreck, but that's, uh, that's going to be okay though. I have my steering angle set on 900 degrees. I probably should have it less for this car. Jesus, thing's fast. I don't, uh, I know I have some downforce with this car, but like I said, this is the first time I've ever driven this car in the game, so I don't really know what I'm dealing with here. I always slow down a lot for that corner. Oh, 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 oh. Hopefully I didn't damage it too much. I um I really could use a speedometer on screen. I can see the one there in my digital gauge cluster but it's kilometers per hour and by golly I just don't know what that means I also can't hear it that well so I'm kind of having to go by really just how fast the track's coming at me okay hey my uh my shift ball down there is a really bright purple just noticed that So what have we, uh, we spun out once and wrecked once already? That's fun. Oh, back on track. I really, really feel like I'm cheating here using an auto, but... Oh, 
Ooh, okay. But I don't want to wake my son up. I need a more comfortable seat for my sim rig. This thing is not comfortable at all. You know, stick a pillow down on my lower back or something. The green hill is looking a little bit overexposed today. I didn't have to slow down quite that much for that corner, but that's fine. Better a little bit too slow than in a wall. Ooh. Aim for the tallest tree. Good gosh. <laughs> this car is a little bit too low for that. You don't really realize like how fast this thing is until I hit start hitting the brakes for a corner and I'm like I am going way too fast. Just entirely too fast. This is super stupid fun though. Scraping the scraping the bodywork there a little bit. Turn in. Good old YouTube corner here. Yeah, this thing needs a um, also, I wouldn't mind it if the rear was a little bit stiffer and the front end needs to be higher. I wouldn't mind a little bit more rotation. I really figured I'd be stepping the rear end out a bunch, having to catch it, and I'm really not. Like, I'm almost questioning. I know I did spin out earlier, but I'm almost questioning, like, if I turn traction control on. I don't think I did. Uh, no, I didn't. That's just, uh, I have any long brakes in the automatic transmission. But yeah, I figured I'd have a lot more troubles than this. That was an overcorrection there. And now we get to go fast. The steering is really light on center, which is kind of cool that you can feel the front end lift and stuff and cars in these games. Scraping and coming up the hill. So we'll try to get a second lap in. I'm assuming that lap was up around eight minutes. Um, if you catch a little bit of a, a skip in this lap, it's because my 15 minute timer or my 15 minute recording time went off and I had to reach down and hit the record button again to start a new 
start a new re recording. I feel like this lap's going to be a little faster, though. I got a much better feel for the car and the speed at which I'm approaching corners. My left elbow hurts. It needs to pop, and it won't. I should have stayed flat through that little left kink there, but eh. On the brakes way earlier for this corner this time. I saw my exit speed was about 140 kilometers per hour. So that's what, 65-ish? Not horrible. Could have probably made it through the corner faster. Ooh, that was a good line through there. Probably one of my better, better passes in it. benefit from speeding up my steering a little bit, knocking it down to like a 720 degree rotation from the 900 I'm at now. A little bit quicker steering would probably really help me here. Ooh, slow down, slow down. Man, you give this thing a straightaway and it just eats it. Oh, going kind of slow here. Reaching down, get my controller. So when I do lose my, uh, my recording does stop, I can just restart it real quick and we won't lose too much uh, footage of going down the track. If I would just live stream this, I wouldn't have to worry about that, but I wouldn't have as good a quality. So I think it's only going to be a very compressed 720p, better than 480 though. Um, I learned from last lap, stay up top here. That uh, the carousel about pulled the steering wheel out of my hands last lap. Yeah, this car is ridiculous. It just devours straightaways. Absolutely love the McLaren F1 and this GTR long tail version I'm driving. And uh, love this track too. This track is insane. Love to drive it, you know, just as a toll road at some point in my life. Okay, recording again. 
we're not too much further down the track, just a couple corners. I was going slow there, so that definitely hurt my lap time while I was getting it to record again. That's going to be okay, though. I feel like this is still a pretty good lap. Probably mid to high seven minute. The fans and my wheel just kicked on. Apparently I am uh, heating it up. And now we just kind of chill. Just cruising down the street. I feel like this is very... Uh, I feel like this is pretty fast. I have no clue how fast I'm going. I'm probably not as fast as I think I am due to the gearing and downforce and everything of how this car is set up. A lot of the cars there, I would be able to let off the brake for a second. Some cars, you can get on the gas in that little section. This thing is just all braking. Okay. That was fun, and that will be this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, come back for more. Actually, let's let's get outside the car. Ooh, in helmet view, that would have been cool. Ooh, it's black. I didn't realize it was a black car I was driving. I can't turn the camera around anywhere. Let's just watch this thing drive for a bit. Huh, not doesn't look nearly as overexposed or bright outside view. Camera just a little bit further back would be super helpful. If you're a fan of the McLaren, this is just a joy to watch. It sure is a joy for me. The whole car needs to be higher. I said I was going to end the video. I didn't. I, uh, just too, too much enjoyment from looking at this car. I've never seen one in real life. I'd love to see one. I don't like driving a car from behind it. I don't mind it in stuff like GTA or arcade stuff. Off the track there again. But in Sims, I definitely want to be inside the car. Alright guys, that'll be the end of this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, come back for more. I try to keep these going. After I had a kid, it's not near as easy, but hey, do what you gotta do. Anyway, see you next time, guys.